I think I got it hiding underneath here, and sure enough, there it is. There's my Panatomic X. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Braxel's Photography Fun. Well, I uh, posted my original video a few years ago in regards to Panatomic X, and there were very few videos on uh, that particular film back in the day, but uh, it has since exploded on the market. Prices have uh, shot up extremely by quite a large amount and now it's in a little higher demand than it uh, was back a few years ago. So anyway, this is my new video on Panatomic X. I uh, decided to uh, show some uh, rolls that I shot in the past and uh, we're gonna take a look at those now. So uh, let's get on and take a look at some pictures on Panatomic X and what made this film so special to me.
enjoy those results off of Panatomic X. Uh, the film was around for quite a long time from the 1930s right up to 1989 I believe when it was discontinued and uh, you can get a few rolls expired up to the early 90s at that point. Uh, I did buy a couple rolls when it was on the market but I since uh, started to love the film itself uh, many years after that. Uh, it's just got such a lovely look to the film, an old-fashioned look, and uh, it, it just kind of gives that retro look that you don't get out of a lot of current films. The, uh, the only closer film in look to that is probably Ilford Penn F Plus and FG25. Uh, those are also favorite films of mine as well. So anyway, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like. And uh, yeah, you mention some comments in the comment section if you have used this film yourself. Uh, and of course, you want to try a roll of it, I do recommend it. Uh, the, again, prices on this film are extremely high these days. So yeah, you're just going to have to give this roll a shot uh, before all the rolls are used up on the market because uh, it is dwindling fast out there. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Well, thank you for watching and aye aye and goodbye. Eh?